In this video, I'll show you how to submit project updates, design point updates, and solution component updates to Remote Solve Manager from Workbench. Remote Solve Manager, or RSM, is a job queuing system that enables you to dispatch simulation jobs to local, remote, or distributed compute resources. When RSM is installed as a service, you must cache your password with RSM before submitting jobs to it. I'll select Jobs, Enter Credentials for Remote Solve Manager. In the Set Password dialog, I'll first select the remote machine where Remote Solve Manager is installed, and where my jobs will be sent for dispatch. The username field is already populated with the domain and username of my primary user account. I'll enter the password for my primary account, and enter it again to verify it. If I were submitting jobs from a Windows machine, which would ultimately execute on a Linux compute server, using my primary account would not likely work because the Linux machine would not recognize my Windows domain and username. In this case, after I've cached the password for my primary Windows account, I can define an alternate account under my primary account and link that alternate account to the Linux compute server. To do this, I need to launch the Set Password dialog box again and specify that this is an alternate account. This makes the username field editable. I can then specify a username that is compatible with the Linux machine then enter and verify the password for my alternate account. When I click OK, I'll be able to select the Linux compute servers that the alternate account will be used with. Now when I send a job from my primary account on my Windows machine, RSM will dispatch it to the Linux compute server under my alternate account. Now that my password is cached with RSM on the remote machine, I can begin submitting jobs to RSM. To update my Workbench project on Remote Compute Resources, I'll right-click and select Properties. Under Project Update, I'll set the Update option to Submit to Remote Solve Manager. Next, I'll select the RSM Manager machine that will dispatch the job to Compute Resources. I'll then select the RSM queue that I want to submit the job to. A queue is a list of compute servers available to run jobs. I can also specify that I want to update my geometry locally before submitting the project update to RSM. Set the component execution mode to either serial or parallel, and specify the maximum number of processes to be used by all components involved in the update. Each solution component can further restrict its execution mode to serial and use fewer processes for parallel jobs under its own component level setting. When I update the project, the job will be sent to RSM, which will dispatch it to an available compute server. I can use RSM to update design points as well. I'll right-click the parameter set and select Properties to view the design point update process settings. I'll set the Update option to Submit to Remote Solve Manager, and select a Solve Manager and Queue. I can specify job execution settings similar to those that were available for my project update. Specify how licenses will be checked out for the remote job, and specify whether I want to group design points into one job or multiple jobs. I can also submit selected solution component updates to RSM. Components that support updates via RSM include the mechanical application MAPDL, Fluent, CFX, Polyflow, and IcePack. If I click the solution cell on a system in my project, I can once again set the update option to submit to Remote Solve Manager and specify remote job submission settings, including settings that relate to solution monitoring. Different solution components will have different settings available. When setting up a mechanical job, for example, I must use a predefined solve process setting for the mechanical application to use. To monitor my RSM jobs from Workbench, I'll click Job Monitor on the status bar. Here I can see if a job is queued or running or has finished or failed. Clicking on a job displays a detailed job log in the lower pane. If I right-click a job, I can perform actions on it. For example, I can abort or interrupt the job or step up its priority. I can save the job report to a file and send it to customer support for troubleshooting. This concludes the video on submitting jobs to RSM from Workbench.